Good morning, Cyber Traders. Hopefully, everybody's doing well on this September 12th. Good to see you. Good morning to you, Donna, George, Grant. Good to see you, Mark, Ken, John, Tim. Look at these, look at these great, great traders up bright and early. All right. Hopefully, everybody's having fun this morning. I tell you, I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm in a good mood this morning. I don't know if it's the uh, the Starbucks coffee or whatever, but uh, let me tell you, pretty excited about the market today. There's been a couple of good things going on. Good to see you too, Ken. Good to see you, Craig. All right, good, good. Benito, perfect. All right, so anyway, um, I don't know. I, I think I'm just excited about this TLRY. Uh, I, I got out of it. I jumped back into it. I'm just still disgusted with myself. I didn't buy a lot of it. Um, you know, look at the things at 106. I think uh, what happened uh, – who is it? The guy who sings Margaritaville. I heard he just signed a deal with uh, signed a deal to put his name on the pot or something like that. So just incredible how, how unbelievable these stocks are are doing. But anyway, um, but anyway, the, the, the TLRY. You know, listen, you can go back and review it. I know we had some YouTube fans out here and stuff like that. Go back and review. You could see we've been, we've been talking about this stock for a long, long time. I'm just telling you, you know me for a long time. You've been watching. You've been here, part of the group for a long time. It just what really scares me about this stock is that we all know what happened to Elfin, right? We all know what happened to, you know, RKDA. We all know what happened to Grant, you know, uh, Ken, you know, the dryers, right? We've been there. We've done through this. So, like, you know me, I'm very, very skeptical. I'm always – I always got my finger on the sell button. But uh, but the stocks are doing great for us. So, hopefully, you guys did pretty well. Now, once again, not a day trade. It's been more of a swing trade. Day trading is pretty nasty, you know. And let me tell you, you could have just trade 100 shares of the stock and you did pretty well, you know. So, anyway, dude, stock's doing phenomenal. HMNY, right there is another one. Yep, HMNY. Let me just bring those up. Some people don't, don't know what I'm talking about, but you can see that one. Look at that one down to two cents. Oh, my God. Two cents. Wow. Look at that. I think that's the worst. I think I, I got to put that. I think that's worse than dryers, actually. H-M-N-Y. Crushed, you know? Uh, so yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely the worst, uh, $1.2 million with all the reverse stock splits. You know, um, let me just tell you, let me just tell you something. Actually, let me bring a comment on this. Uh, somebody that's a student here, I'm not going to bring up her name, but let me tell you, she, she found me on YouTube and she saw me talking about it because some of you remember when they did the revert, when they did that stock split. And she said to me, she says, Fausto, you saved my life. She's like, well, what happened? She go, I, I was looking what the hell to do with HMMY. I didn't know what a reverse stock split was. And, um, and thank God I watched a video because I lost, um, the stock was going down. I think it did a reverse stock split around 20 or something like that. Let me. I, I think I have another. I have another chart. Let me just bring this up because it's pretty important that you guys see this. Uh, H M N Y. Let me just bring this one up. Yeah, here it is. It was on this chart. Let me bring up this chart. This one's a little bit better. All right. Yeah, this one you could see a little bit better. Okay, because the other this one doesn't factor in the reverse stock splits like the other platform does. But anyway, the stock did a reverse stock split. You could see it went from like eight cents. It went away to 15. And um, she saw the stock and got out right around 12, I think it was, she told me, or somewhere around here, around 10. And she lost around $3,000 on that trade after seeing when I was explaining. You can watch a video, you can watch a YouTube video on that one. And I explained, I'm like, dude, this is, gonna be, this is awesome. And good thing she got out of it because uh, of her, let's say, $30,000 investment, it probably right now would be worth about $300, you know? gone you know people got crushed on this trade destroyed so anyway that's the beauty about being part of cyber train diversity you get the experience you know what's what it's all about you know hey sometimes we get a little you know a little too conservative but it's all about making money but you know what people got destroyed on that stock destroyed i mean i i honestly i totally forgot about it i i now that you brought it up uh joanna there you go joanna saved her account there she is so Let's uh, – so I didn't want to bring it up. Joanna brought it up. Joanna, a new, a new student here at Cybertrain University. I spoke to her about it. I told her about it. And, uh, you know, thank God, Joanna, you got out of that stock, right? My God. Let's give her – let's give her a big fat round of applause. Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
helped me learn a lot. Yeah, I mean, Joanna, you know what? Like, let me tell you the big thing why most people become, come to Cyber Trade University, more importantly, it, 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 they, they don't know how to take losses, right? And that is the biggest thing. And nobody likes to hear the facts about, you know, um, they don't want to hear the truth, right? You know, they don't want to hear the truth that you're sick. They don't want to hear the truth that you've that that you know that you're heavy. They don't want to hear. They want to hear. They want to hear the truth that you're gonna lose all your money. They don't want the truth that you, you whatever it is. Nobody likes to hear the truth, right? They, they just they, they, you know, whatever it is. They just they want to silence you. They want to and they want to pretend. They want to pretend. But sometimes when you when you come here, part of Cyber Train University, the facts are the facts. And you know what? The money, like Grant just said right there. Look, listen, and learn. Your first video, okay, Joanna is saying your first video said it was after a big loss that you really learned. Same here. I love that you said that. You lost big. It never happened again if you're smart. Well, your first loss is always the best loss that we say. Anyway, but that, thanks for bringing it up. Anyway, let's get right back and talk about because I know you guys are going to get, get right back into the market because we need to get ready. The market's going to be opening up soon. And um, I want to talk about what we traded yesterday. First of all, Sono. Um, stock took a huge hit. Um, I'm a little con I, listen. I like the Sono because it right came right back that back to its IPO price, and I said that right now. Keep an eye on Sono. If it breaks its IPO price, that is a major, major, major problem. So they have to keep the stock up above 30 uh, above its IPO price for at least 30 days. And obviously, it doesn't look like it has gone 30 days yet. But keep an eye on Sonos because it's you know that stock could get a little bit of a dead cat bounce. But that stock was a great short yesterday. You had a nice little rebound right at the open, went from 17 to almost 18. It came right back down. So, but 16 is a really big support level. Uh, T the TLRY, I mean, I don't know what else to say. We're, we're killing it on that one. That has just been a great trade for us on the pot stock. Um, I'm still very cautious about it. I mean, listen, when could it stop? Uh, right now, you know, we saw these high flyers go up. You know, just got to keep an eye on. I don't know if the short squeeze is really kicking in yet. Ears, very, very cheap, inexpensive stock. Uh, you can see ears... Um, you know, listen, you know, I'm not a fan of trading stocks under a dollar because now you're dealing with tenths of a penny. But I know you guys did a lot. You know, a lot of you guys made money on that stock. Look at the volume. I mean, you could buy 10, 20,000 shares of this stock. You know, it goes up two pennies. One penny on a, on 10,000 is $100. So, you know, stock did pretty well. Um, but sure enough, look where it is right now. Boom, right to where it started. This is why you do not hold overnight positions. All right. So that's what we traded. And that's the past. And those go in our archives. Now let's talk about what's going on this morning. Uh, there's a couple of stocks that are getting destroyed. Destro I mean, this is this is even possible? Look at this VTL. What did they kill somebody? Oh my God! Talking about a haircut, right? VTL. Puh. My God. Think we'll get a dead cat bounce on that one? <laughs> VTL. Oh my God, that's it. That is just that is just that's horrible. That is just terrible of a stock. Anyway, um, what is the stock? It's a pharmaceutical stock, right? What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks, guys? Could everyone? I know we have a lot of people here. What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks? They don't come back. All right. So. Um, and by the way, I just want to point out something else. This is why you have to learn how to day trade before you could do a swing trade or an option trade, okay? Because if you knew how to day trade, could you imagine being the guy that owns it at 6 and waking up this morning at, at 65 cents, just like the, H, like the HMNY? Look what ended up happening on this thing. You could see it clear as day. Stock was breaking lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows. I mean, you could if you had if you rode this stock up and you're at nine and now it's at eight, now it's at seven, eight fifty and seven. You like you say, you know what, let me just get out of it. You know, take the loss because obviously as a day trader you see it breaks lower lows, and then all of a sudden you don't want to take a loss, wake up one morning, boom, you're down ninety percent on your trade, you basically lost everything. This thing will destroy you. All right. So anyway, that stock is definitely – I'm going to watch it though. I want to watch it. I want to see if we can get some bottom fishes on it, but I'm definitely going to watch it. All right. The other big one is FMOX. That stock um, had a really nice gap up. I don't know why it tanked though. It came down. It's up 30% now, 1.4 million shares. You got some decent iceberg orders out there, but she's holding pretty strong right here. I just don't like she's breaking lower lows. Let's see what happens at 750. AKTX I found this morning. 
Here's another stock um, up by 5%. Not up a lot, but she is cheap. You know, uh, she's right around that price range, 32,000 shares. It's okay. Decent volume. All right, the big one also we've all been watching has been a great short is Micron. Now, Micron does have some support levels right around 40 bucks. So Micron, we, we, we know Micron very well, guys. We've been trading. We've been trading Micron for a long time, all right? And let me just bring up this other chart right here. You can see Micron had a really nice little rally. And let me just change this. You can see it's been great as a great mover. But when you go back two years, you're like, oh, wow, you know, stock had a big run from 22. And then all of a sudden, you know, stock is tanking, literally just getting destroyed. It's got some support levels right around the 40-ish. So let's keep an eye on there. Um, hopefully... Listen, if you're, it's a great day trade. It was a great short. But if you're a swing trade, guys, listen, there's an old saying. You always could buy it back cheaper. That's the way you got to look at it. All right. BHC is another one I found this morning that's breaking higher highs. This one a little bit on the opposite side. Nice little trend, two, two, 290,000 shares. Uh, looks like it's going to be testing its resistance levels right around 24. So a little look for some orders out there. I see a lot of sellers out there already on, on the matrix. I want to see if they're going to get taken out on the on the time and sales. That will help us to distinguish the, uh, the direction of it. Uh, which one's that one? And then uh, last but not least is Snap. OK, Snap is getting killed. Listen, when Snap went public and now it finally broke its all time low, that is not a very good sign. So Snap, we, we, we traded it. We did well with it. Um, we all got out of it pretty much here in our swing trade. You know, we were day trading. It's been a fun day trade, but Snap is not looking too good at all. The stock is getting killed. So listen, you know what? If you love the company, you own it. <laughs> the trend is your friend. Don't buck the trend. You can always buy it back cheaper. All right. Anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out. Benito's already a buck ten on the TLRY. Let's give him a round of applause. There you go. TLRY. And that's a day trade, not even a swing trade. All right. Anyone else? Anybody else missing anything? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stocks. All right. So today's hump day. Today's Wednesday. Kids went back to school. The Jewish holiday is over, you know, but now there's one coming up next week, which is actually a bigger one. So, you know, we're getting, we're right smack in the thick of things. Um, September, October, November, the best months to trade. So let's focus on that and uh, let's try to profit as much as we can. All right, guys. And then last but not least, uh, I forgot to mention one other thing. Do not forget we have the on-site class that is starting in October, all right? Um, we're going to have celebrity chefs that are going to be cooking for us for dinner, which is going to be awesome. Big, big surprise. You're all gonna, guys are going to get to meet, and we're going to trade live together. we got trade stations coming. i got got uh, Andrew Keene that's going to be coming also, teach us options. He's going to be coming too. you got the staff. You have all the instructors. So if you haven't booked your reservation yet um, and your hotels and whatever here in New York, Make sure you take care of that. We do it once a year. It's our biggest event of the year. So if you guys want to come, talk to Education Advisor. Tell, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. In the meantime, I'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. And uh, once again, for all everyone here, listen, we have a lot of stocks out here. Not all of them going to move. We'll probably two or three of them will find some new ones when the market opens up. So whatever, you, if you were able to benefit from pre-market, good. If you didn't, don't worry about it. We still got the uh, market to open up to find new ones. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.